So testosterone replacement injection, a gel form, a pill form, what would be the best type uh, The them? two main forms we use with patients is number one, either a transdermal gel, so it's a topical testosterone cream or gel, applied to the skin in the morning. That absorbs through the skin, gets in the bloodstream, and that's a common way to increase testosterone levels. Um, it works well, it's quite cost effective. You have to be careful you don't contaminate other family members with mm -hmm. it or friends. Uh, once you've applied the cream for a couple hours, if you're touching their skin, it could transfer into the other person. So that could be a problem, especially if you have young kids. The other main form that's used is um, the injection form. And the injection normally is done once a week or every two weeks at the longest. And um, that's a good option too, especially if you have young children. Most patients choose the transdermal gel form. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of conventional doctors are actually starting to recommend that form as well. So you can't take it through pill or sublingual? Is that just not the most effective you way to do it? You can use those forms. No one really uses the pill form anymore. Um, it can be too hard in the liver. When you do it in the injection or mm. the gel form, it's not hard on the liver. It's not hard for the liver to metabolize. Sublingual can be used. That's where you have tablets that dissolve under the tongue. We typically don't use that form because it doesn't last very long in the body. You use a mm. sublingual tablet and it stays in your bloodstream about two to three hours. When you use a transdermal gel, mm -hmm. it lasts pretty much throughout the day. If you do an injection, it lasts at least a week. Thanks, Dr. Mark. We've got to take a quick break, and thanks for joining us. We will be back talking more on men and testosterone.